Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I'll reveal the top five pens of October, our picks for giftable Christmas inks, and share the latest addition to my personal pen collection. Last, I'll give away something on my desk. The first pen I'd like to talk about in this episode is near and dear to me because it's the newest pen that I added to my own personal collection. The Pelican Suvron 800 Blue Old Blue is a special edition design from back in 2010 that I missed out on when it was first released. At the time, I had about three years on the job at Goldspot and did not have the budget to collect high-end pens. Fast forward to 2023, Pelican finds a stash of retired pen designs, including the Blue Old Blue, Burnt Orange, Ocean Swirl, and other special editions in the 600 and 200 collections. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do these pens miraculously appear out of thin air? Apparently Pelican found them in their Hanover factory warehouse during an inventory. Having found similar pen treasures during inventories at the Goldspot warehouse, I could relate. Sometimes things get lost in the shuffle, misplaced, or stuck behind a shelving unit. You'll find all these rare retired birds on the new releases page of the Goldspot Pens website. Use the filter to show only Pelican pens and you'll see all the designs we have available. We did not get many of each, so if you missed out on a Cognac, Smoky Quartz, Vibrant Orange, Cafe Creme, Olivine, Blue Dunes, and more, get your hands on one before they are gone for good. And now on to the top five. But first, a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during October, 2023. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. Black is back with the Estabrook SD Raven starting this list at the fifth spot. Taking a different direction from their signature colorful vintage feel designs, Estabrook goes with the stealthy black on black style in their own special way. The matte finished solid acrylic body and cap have a soft textured feel that is an absolute pleasure to grip. Glossy black trim and pocket clip contrast nicely while giving this pen a dark and mysterious personality. While the fountain pen I show in this video is the standard international cartridge converter filling model, there was also a push button piston filler, the first of its kind for Estabrook, as well as a matching rollerball and ballpoint pen. The black finished stainless steel nib, while not being a novel development in the pen industry, is a first also for Estabrook. The black nib made by Yovo is available in only the standard size range and not the specialty nib by grinds like the Scribe, Journaler, and etc. When the Raven took flight on October the 12th, these pens disappeared from our shelves. Originally, Estabrook said we would have to wait until December to get more, but they did send us a small amount of Ravens since then. If you're on the hunt for this bird, please sign up for the in-stock notifications. Since this is not a limited or seasonal design, it will be a matter of time before we will receive more of October's fifth most popular pen. Sliding from last month's top spot to number four, we have the brilliant, juicy, Caveco All Sport Mercury Orange Fountain Pen. As warming as the sun on a crisp autumn afternoon, the Mercury Orange design has an energetic yet comforting feel. For this Gold Spot exclusive limited edition design, Caveco machined a solid piece of lightweight aluminum into a pocket friendly, minimalist fountain pen. Then they anodized the cap and barrel in a burnt orange with matte finish, a subtle impression of the pen's branding and the gold spot logo design adorned two of the cap's eight faceted sides, a gold plated stainless steel nib and medallion accent the luxury of this pen. Mercury Orange already has 12 five-star reviews, including this one from Mary C who writes, the orange is absolutely fantastic. I love the Caveco AL finishes, and this one is no exception. If orange was trying to be elegant and subtle at the same time, this could be it. This little baby is drop dead gorgeous with that golden orangey matte finish and the golden accents. I ordered a double broad as I have several shimmery golden yellow and golden orange inks that look like this pen was designed with those in mind. As soon as it came, and it was here almost before I knew it, thank you Gold Spot folks, I inked it up with Shimmering Tangerine and Ooh La La, love it. Goldspot knocked this one out of the park. Get yours before they're gone. I will echo Mary's sentiments about the urgency of this pen design. Mercury Orange will only be around for a little while. My best guess is that it will be gone by the end of the year. 
Go with great speed to get October's fourth most popular pen, the Caveco Mercury Orange for $92 exclusively at goldspot.com. So before we move on to the third most popular pen of October, let's answer the question of the week, which comes from Yvette Sands 1780, who asks, what's the top selling Christmas ink? Looking for some inspiration for gifting this year? Well, you're just in luck because in October, we received the 2023 Diamine Inkvent calendar, which for the past two years has been our best selling seasonally themed ink collection. Now, typically you would start unboxing the Inkvent calendar on December 1st, counting down the days until Christmas. So I would consider the Inkvent calendar an early gift or a gift for oneself to enjoy. If you're looking for more of a stocking stuff or something that can be unwrapped on Christmas Day, you could also gift inkvent colors from previous years in 50 milliliter snowflake shaped ink bottles. Here are the top three best-selling inkvent inks from Christmas's past. In 2019, the blue edition, we have Holly, Noel, and Snowstorm. In the 2021 Red Edition, you have Garland, All the Best, and Winter Spice. In the 2022 Green Edition, you have Serendipity, Solar Storm, and Deck the Halls. Aside from Diamine, Ferris Wheel Press has a large selection of seasonal, cozy inks with on-point presentation. Part of the Woven Warmth Collection, inks like Majestic Maple Syrup look and sound simply delicious. Back to October's top five pens, we have another fall favorite pen that charted highly in September's list. The Retro 51 Tornado Autumn Leaves Fountain Pen celebrates the beautiful changing of the seasons. In collaboration with Retro 51 and graphic artist Tracy Marsaioli, Autumn Leaves shines with polished copper-plated leaves set against a matte eggplant backdrop. Warm copper appointments and clip complements the cozy look of this fountain pen. Ross M put it perfectly with a five-star review, which states, I'm a fan of this pen's designer. Her designs tickle my retinas. And on the other end, the common criticism we received about this pen doesn't have anything to do with the design itself. It's the lack of a matching stainless steel nib. Whereas most pen manufacturers match the nib's finish to match the trims and the clip, Retro 51 does not offer this customization. That's why there's a naked stainless steel nib on this copper trimmed pen. Limited to 300 pens made worldwide with the edition number engraved on the top ring, Autumn Leaves is an instant collectible for Retro 51 fans who love fall. With less than 20% of the edition left, you'll want to collect this pen before it blows away for good. You can find Autumn Leaves, our third most popular pen of October, for $99 exclusively on the Goldspot website. Originally introduced on Fountain Pen Day 2022, the second most popular pen of October is the Narwhal Nautilus Mariana Trench. Just like Pelican finding gold with the retired special editions, we recently received the missing shipment of 100 Mariana Trench pens we thought were lost forever. It seems fitting that the Mariana Trench is number two on this month's list as it debuted at number two on November's top five list last year as well. This pen captures the imagination with its swirling green and blue ebonite body and cap with deep blue PVD metal accents. The piston filling Nautilus fountain pen includes three porthole style ink windows in the barrels to see your ink level. Each pen is individually numbered on the cap's finial top disc this one, for example, is 222 out of 300. To best suit your handwriting style, the Mariana Trench is available with either stainless steel nib in fine, medium, broad, or double broad, or 1.1 millimeter stub nib, or a 14 karat gold nib in finer medium, of which this one I'm showing here is a 14 karat gold nib. You can pick up the Mariana Trench, our second most popular pen of October, for $160 with a steel nib and $280 for the 14 karat gold nib option. At number one, here's a scary good pen that if you missed out, might haunt your dreams. The Retro 51 Tornado Fright Night Rollerball pen dropped into the top spot after 500 of these limited edition pens nearly vanished in a day. If you recognize this pen's artistic style, you've got a good eye. Tracy Marsaioli gets all the credit for this Halloween themed design. Fright Night unleashes eerie images of pumpkins, black cats, bats, and spiders for this pen's wraparound design. The pen has a glossy black and white finish with highlights of metallic orange. This one that I'm showing in the video version of the podcast is not metallic orange. This is actually the prototype we're giving away for the answer to the question of the week. But with both designs, you would see the glossy black accents, clip, and knurled twist top. 
When plunged into darkness after prolonged exposure to direct light, the white areas of the pen emit a ghostly white glow. As if this pen wasn't creepy enough, an orange spider illustration crawls on the top disc. Some Retro 51 enthusiasts thought that Fright Night was going to be the yearly Halloween-themed pen that the company introduced at this time of year. Pen collectors were in for a treat when the Frankenstein pen came alive a week later after Fright Night sold out. Also a glow-in-the-dark pen design, Frankenstein gained its inspiration from Mary Shelley's gothic tale. Retro 51 illustrated Frankenstein's monster in an inky black set against bright yellow-green lacquer. Frankenstein was limited to 1,031 pieces made with the edition number engraved on the top ring of the retractable rollerball. This pen was also a quick sellout, which is why it shares a top spot with the Fright Night rollerball. There you have it, folks, your top five pens of October 2023. To recap, we have the Estabrook SD Raven, the Kaveco Ale Sport Mercury Orange, Retro 51 Autumn Leaves Fountain Pen, the Narwhal Nautilus Mariana Trench Fountain Pen, and the Retro 51 Tornado Fright Night also mention the Frankenstein as well. And congrats go to Yvette Sands 1780 for being picked as the question of the week. You've won a Girologio leather three pen case. Email me at tom at goldspot.com to claim your prize. Since Friday is Fountain Pen Day, I've got something super rare and exciting to give away. A Lamy Safari Dark Lilac Fountain Pen. A special edition from 2016, this is a rare warehouse find, an extra fine point that has never been used. To enter for a chance to win the Lamy Dark Lilac, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer your question, you win. If you'd like to see me write with the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you could check out Goldspot Pens YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks for writing samples. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.